Okay, this is my mealworm feeder. This is a standard cage type feeder. Uh, you can see it's got um, holes in the side in the grid that are about an inch and a half, which is just about big enough for a bluebird to get into. Um, you can also you also get tit mice and chickadees that'll feed in here. You can see it's got uh, I put a what this is from is a vinyl report cover. You can get these like at office supply places. <clears throat> and this is on the top here. This keeps the rain from getting through this this seam on the top. If you don't do this, the rain will get through into the uh, into the inside of the feeder. And I repainted this. Uh, normally the bottom is just natural wood. By painting it, it uh, will protect the uh, wood and it'll last a lot longer. The inside, it has a. Uh, see, it's got a cup here. And what I did is I used a. Uh, it's a <clears throat> combination screw and wood screw and machine screw. You can buy these at a hardware store. It's much better than the Velcro connection they have when you buy these. And you can see it's got like a little uh, a nut on there. You can use the nut to screw it in. This makes it easier to take. You know, if you need to clean this or refill, it makes it a lot easier to handle. Uh, I mounted this on a piece of plumber's pipe, heavy duty. You can get it at the hardware store and there's a flange which fits the thread on the bottom makes it easy to mount and that's about it that's the uh, cage type mealworm feeder um, also with this type of feeder if you're training your bluebirds you can basically move this pretty easily like I move this from my front yard to my backyard because the bluebirds prefer the front yard and just move it in increments of it. Once they learn it in the front yard, you just move it about uh, 15 feet at a time, and you can train them wherever you need them or wherever you want them to go.